My name is Gavin Bradley. I'm here at Indiana Caverns, and um, I'm a research student at the University of Louisville. Uh, what I'm doing is working with the cave salamanders here, um, really just trying to figure out some information about how, how they live down in caves, because we don't really know too much about them. Uh, and so I think the interesting thing is what I find to be the most, most cool is that they've kind of entered into this difficult lifestyle moving into a cave. And what I mean by that is it's, it's always dark, there's not a lot of food, and the, the interesting bit is they don't have to be here, but they are. They can make a perfectly good life outside of the cave. And so it's really, to me then, it's interesting because I wonder why, well, why be in here if you don't necessarily have to be? Um, because they're not like the troglobitic cave animals, those animals that you may think of as the true cave dwellers that ha don't have pigment, don't have eyes, and all these, uh, and all these kinds of characteristics, where they have all this. They, they have eyes when they grow up. They're very bright, brilliant orange. And um, I want to figure out how they make a life in here, uh, despite, you know, despite all of that. Um, so some of the things that I've noticed doing research in here is that um, it is, it's, a tough, it's a tough life in here for a cave salamander, like I said, uh, because they have to eat to grow. They're living in the water, so they've got to find food somewhere in here. And when there's not a lot of food, uh, that creates kind of a competitive at atmosphere of sorts um, with the other salamander larvae that they're with. And, but it also creates an interesting scenario, possibly with some of the other animals that they're uh, living with, such as the cave crayfish that also need food to live and grow. And that kind of creates, um, I'm thinking maybe a bit of a predatory atmosphere. So um, my interest then is to really look at, well, are these salamanders, are they competing with each other uh, strongly to live in this environment? And also, are they having to deal with um, dangerous predators like crayfish in day-to-day -day life that are also trying to make a decent living down here. Not like most, but to photograph China. <laughs>